Hello everyone, Odie and Indy here. Now today, we're going to be doing a new series reviewing these. The 2022 Wooden Railway Line. Now, I've already reviewed a couple of these before in the past, like Emily, the Trucks, and Diesel. But I thought that I would re-review some of them and do a much more in-depth review, if that makes any sense. So, first, let's take a good look at this box. So we have a good picture of Thomas on it, so you can see all of the details. The Wooden Railway logo, we've got a piece of track. Now this is the later version, because the earlier versions of the box had speckles on the track. And it shows Thomas in all different languages, so we got Thomas, 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 and Thomas. And then we've got this, I don't know what that is. We've got the Fisher Price and 2 Plus. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend this for uh, 2 Plus because these wheels might be able to come off, and as well as the casing around the magnet, and that could be a choking hazard, unfortunately. But we got the uh, Thomas Wooden Railway logo. We've got a bunch of uh, legal details on the back. We got it for $16.99 at Barnes & Noble. And that is the box. So now we're going to open it. And here he is. Now, this kind of box probably costs $1.00. To make um, maybe one or two dollars and here's Thomas let me just uh, put this box back and here he is the 2022 wooden railway Thomas now this is my favorite wooden railway Thomas design by far because it just looks so good it has all the details the wheels actually have like flanges that like if that makes any sense, like, this part goes inside the groove of the track, and then this part, like, rests on this part of the track, which I really like that design. We've got an actual good buffer beam, which only a few Fisher-Price engines did, and all of the Thomas Wood items did, but they had, like, red painted buffers, which was disgusting. We have the Thomas logo. I don't know why they have the cloud, and they didn't. Um, something that I've heard a lot of people talk about is they should have enlarged the cloud, made it this way and put Thomas's name in it. I think that would look a lot better. And they should have made the code back here and smaller. But that's just my opinion. That's just a little nitpick. Now, these wheels, listen to this. I have traction rail. I unfortunately don't have any satisfying clickety-clack track, but listen. That's the sound of the rails. You can't even hear the wheels. Like, listen. That's like the grass, but like, still. These are like very silent wheels, like... You can't even hear that. They're like a WD-40 on them or something. But the face, oh my gosh. I absolutely love this smug look. It is so cheeky and it looks just like the one from the uh, CGI show. Uh, it doesn't look too much like the model series show, but that's not that's not too big of a deal. I would have liked the nose to be a tiny bit bigger um, and the eyes to be a little smaller, but that's just another nitpick. Um... Now, Thomas, you might notice, is uh, and, and then show, is he's skinnier and he has a taller funnel. But I honestly like this bigger, like, fatter design with the smaller funnel. I just think it fits his personality well. Like, he's a little, he's a small, cheeky train. Now, unfortunately, they did not paint the uh, buffer beam on the back. But it, like, sticks out like this, sort of like the uh, Widow's Peak. But instead of the Widow's Peak, it doesn't have, like, a little bump there. It's just, like, a little runoff. The coal, it's uh, very well detailed. I think that coal load is uh, beautifully detailed. It's uh, made out of plastic, and it's not painted. We've got lots and lots of rivets, unnecessary rivets, to be honest. I prefer the uh, rivets. I, I prefer there not to be any rivets, excuse me. Um, the door, I do love that door. I love the design of the window, where it has, like, the firebox. Like, you could see the little fire, and it's like, kind of glowing slightly. Now, the top of it, um, I'm going to call this the unpainted edge because the black is only like a small square and it doesn't stick out all the way. But once again, nitpick. The uh, lining, some pe most people honestly hate that it pops out, but I absolutely love the way the lining and stuff pops out. We've got a plastic dome, which is a um, nice little piece. The magnets, well, the magnets are pretty much the same as every single wooden railway as well as the chassis other than the wheels. But this is an excellent model, and I really don't have any further complaints. I, let's look at some other smaller details. Do you see the handrails around the cab? Those are really nice. I do really like those uh, lines right there. I love the uh, lining around the uh, coal bunker. That's nice. 
I, I wish that there was like a lamp and some lining around the edge back here. But really, Thomas is going to be full of rolling stock, and you're not going to be able to see that most of the time. And we got boiler by boiler bands. Sorry, boiler bands. Um, we got no cab windows, but I understand why they didn't put them there. Uh, the running board. I love the design of the running board. It's very nice, and I think that is really about it of this wooden railway, Thomas. So overall. I'm going to rate it a solid 8.5 out of 10 because it is almost perfect, but there are a few things that are lacking, like cab windows, back design, and other and like the and like the buffers on the back and everything. But like that's those are just nitpicks. But overall, I'm gonna give this an 8.5, and I really think that um yeah that's about it. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna be doing Edward next. Um, Odie and Dignity, signing off. <laughs>